so glad you're here. I was just looking through this old magazine and getting some ideas. I just love using recycled materials, you know, stuff you can find around your house to make your art projects. So today I thought I would show you how to make something out of recycled magazines. We're going to be making magazine bowls. Get ready. Here are the materials you're going to need today. anywhere from about 40 to 100 pages of magazine paper. You don't have to use magazine pages. You could use construction paper, you could use old homework, you could repurpose some junk mail, or even just paper right out of the printer. Any of those are fine for this project. So starting off with your pages of magazine, you're gonna wanna tear them out or carefully cut them out. We're transforming these pages of magazine paper into what I call magazine rods. There are these long, thin, folded up pieces of magazine paper, and that's what we're gonna construct our bowl out of. So I would go ahead and rip out your pages first from your magazine so you have those all ready to go so that you can start folding and creating your rods. You're going to take your torn out piece of magazine paper and look for the more colorful side. This looks to me to be the more colorful side, so this is gonna be the back. So I'm gonna put that face down on my table. And then I'm gonna look for the kind of raggedy edge here. And I'm gonna take that corner and I'm going to fold it so that the top of my paper meets the edge of my page over here. So now I'm gonna turn this whole thing so that this folded side is nearest me. Then I'm going to take this folded side and I'm going to fold it over so I have a nice long strip here. I wanna make it about one finger wide. That's kind of my gauge of how wide this rod needs to be. And I'm gonna keep folding. I'm gonna take this part of my paper fold it over, and I'm trying to maintain that same width. So look, there's my finger, same width all the way down. And I'm gonna keep going. And I'm making sure to press down all the way so I have nice, crisp creases. Here I've come to the edge, I've got a little triangle showing right here. So now I need to use my glue. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of glue here on this triangle, not much, just enough so that the rod sticks together. And I'm gonna fold that last little bit of the triangle, and there I have my first rod. Notice it's about the same width all the way down from one end to the other. I want all of my rods to be about the same width. Some might be a little bit more narrow, some might be a little bit more wide. And now I'm ready to go again. I'm gonna look for the more colorful side and have that on the back. Look for the ragged edge. I'm gonna take that corner and fold it down so that these two edges meet over here. Make a nice crisp crease. So I've got my ragged edge here, my ragged edge here. Turn the whole thing so that my fold is facing me and I'm gonna fold that over nice and evenly. And I'm gonna keep going, making sure that I'm maintaining that same width the whole way. Now I'm ready for some glue. You might be wondering why I'm looking for the more colorful side to put on the back. Well, the more colorful side will actually show up on the outside of your rod. And the more colorful strips you have, the more colorful a bowl you'll have. See, I've got a pink strip here and a blue strip here. I really like those colorful pieces. Once I get 
get a good stash of magazine rods going, I can start constructing my magazine bowl. This one hasn't been sealed yet, so I can still pop it down into its original puck shape. If you look closely, you can see that it's really just one big spiral of these magazine rods that have all been glued together. And then I can push it out into that bowl shape. The first thing we're gonna need to do is use a rod and coil it up so that we start with that very center of our magazine bowl. These rods are kind of stiff. So what I wanna do is take this rod and just run it along the edge of a table. Like that. So then I end up with a rod that's a little bit easier to bend because I've kind of trained the paper to bend in a certain way. So I'm gonna take one end and just fold it over so I start with kind of a flat edge here. And this part's kind of tricky. You really have to start off small and just fold it over a tiny little bit. And then I'm gonna fold that over again. And I'm gonna keep curling it in on itself so that if I looked at the side, you could begin to see that I have a very, very small coil beginning to start. I'm just using my fingertips to do this. That first part is really tricky and I'm gonna try to keep it as tightly wound as I can. See how that coil is really, really tight? If it's too loose, you, it might come apart on you. So you wanna keep that coil really tight, as tight as you can possibly hold it. See, it's getting bigger now. And now I can use my index finger and thumb on either side and just keep turning that coil and I'm holding the rest of the rod kind of tight with my other hand. You can see now it's coiling up. And here, when I get to the end of my rod, hold that coil tight. And I'm gonna use some glue, just maybe about an inch of glue. And I'm going to glue the end of my rod on itself. And then I have to hold it for about nine or 10 seconds so the glue gets tacky enough so that it stays in place. Okay, my glue's pretty sticky now. It's gonna stay in place. So now I can grab a second rod. And again, I'm gonna use the edge of my table and make that rod a little bit more easy to bend. Now I'm gonna apply a little bit of glue, just about an inch or so on this end of my rod. And I'm gonna wrap that around my coil that I've already started. And then I'm gonna hold that in place. You might need to wait nine or 10 seconds so that it dries. And then just hold it tightly and start coiling that second rod around that center coil. I'm doing this as tightly as I possibly can to keep that really nice solid structure of my bowl. And then when I get to the end of my rod, apply a little bit of glue, maybe about an inch or so, and keep wrapping that rod around the coil. I'm really having to use the muscles in my hand and fingers to keep that coil nice and tight. I'm gonna hold it in place for nine or 10 seconds until I can let go of it. Grab a third rod. Remember, I've gotta run it along the edge of my table to loosen up the fibers in the paper so that it can curve around my coil. Ah, 
Add a little bit of glue to the first inch or so of your rod and wrap it around your coil. Hold it tight. Let the glue get tacky enough so that it sticks and wrap that rod evenly around your coil. Hold it tight. Keep turning until you have maybe about two inches left of your rod. Grab your glue, add a little glue to the last inch or so, and wrap it around tight around the coil. I'm gonna repeat this process over and over again until I end up with something like this. It looks like a big hockey puck. to make my big hockey puck of a magazine bowl. So now I'm ready to start shaping it into the bowl shape. So if I pick it up with both hands and kind of keep my hands curved, I can press up with my thumbs and carefully press it into that bowl shape. So in order to keep that bowl shape, we're gonna give it a coating of glue all the way around it. I'll show you how to dilute the glue so that you can just paint it on to create that clear coat to seal it and keep its shape. I'm gonna use this plastic cup and put my bowl over my plastic cup so it doesn't get glued to my mat and it helps the bowl kind of keep its shape. In this little cup, I'm going to combine some just regular liquid glue And I'm gonna pour in a little bit of water just to dilute the glue so it will be easier to brush on. And I'm gonna mix that up with my paintbrush. And I'm just gonna paint it on a nice thick coat all over my magazine bowl. let that dry and then flip it over and coat the inside of the bowl next. Now that this side of my bowl is dry, I'm going to take it off the plastic cup, turn it over, and I'm going to put a coating of my paste mixture on the inside. That was so fun. I'm super excited about my brand new recycled magazine bowl. I think it turned out really great and it dried nice and clear and it's feeling really sturdy. These magazine bowls make great gifts and they make great little places to store little things around your house or your studio, like office supplies. I've got my little mini staplers, some old buttons I've got but this new one I made is a perfect place for me to store my vintage marble collection. Ooh, got some cool ones I wanna show off. Your magazine bowl might look bigger or smaller than mine or shorter or taller, and that's okay because when you're creating, the possibilities are endless. 
<laughs> and now it's time for a joke. What kind of magazines do cows read? Catalogs. Yeah.